This is part two of the Visual Basic.net console application. Um, what, I'm, what I've done so far is just explained this project. And what we're going to do here is actually get started coding. The first part of this is going to actually just simply read in a text file using the stream reader class of the system.io namespace that we've already imported. And display the contents of that file on the console. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the keyword using. Uh, I'm going to use my reader which is the stream reader that I talked about. Stream reader. And that's simply just telling Visual Basic .NET that we're going to use a stream reader and we're going to call it my reader and we're going to make that equal to a new stream reader and we're going to read the file now if you remember we put this file named my file text in the folder that uh, this application resides in so that is just basically saying we're using the reader and we're going to read this file so we're going to read it a, f a line at a time, but we need to have those lines reside somewhere. And we can use a string variable for that. So I'm going to use the keyword dim my line uh, as a string. Whoops. As a string. Sometimes IntelliSense goes a little too fast. So uh, I've declared it, and now what I'll do is we could have done this all in one line, but my line equals, and then we're going to use the reader, my reader dot, and we're going to tell it to read a line, read line. So what it did is it goes and assigns the line to the string variable my line. That's pretty simple. Uh, we're going to have it read over and over and over, so we're going to loop through all the lines in the text file. So we're going to do a do loop, do while loop, do while, and we want to do it until it's the end of the file. Uh, and this is going to sound strange, but we're going to say while not my line uh, is nothing. So it's a double negative but double negatives are allowed in programming basically what it's saying is we're going to do the instructions in this loop until my line is nothing but not nothing so as long as it isn't nothing we're going to keep looping through this loop and it's only going to be one line actually it's actually be two lines uh, the first one is we're going to write on the console console dot write line write line uh, we're gonna write the line my line and we're gonna read the next line now I could have done this differently but for simplicity's sake I'm just gonna say my line equals uh, my reader dot read line again <coughs> and that is all there is to it so I'm going to save this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in debug mode. I'm going to hit control F5 and that will bring up my console and it should write uh, read the, the words that I had in my file and sure enough there they are and we get this press uh, any key to continue. So it worked and they're in the order that they were in on the text file. So that works. Now in order for me to alphabetize these we need to have those not just on the console but we need to have them in some sort of object that we can use to hold them temporarily until we write them to another file. And we're going to use uh, an object called a list which uh, we'll, we'll call it uh, uh, my array. It's not technically an array, but some people are familiar with an array. An array is simply uh, a variable that can hold several of the same sort of uh, data. 
and we'll go ahead and declare that array up here before we ever started coding. So I'm going to go ahead and dim my array. That's the name of it. My array as a new list. And when we type new list, we'll see IntelliSense wants to know what kind of list and it's going to be of and it needs to know the type. So we're going to uh, it's going to be a list of string. Um, that's what we're actually going to store these in. So while we're writing this to the console, we don't even have to actually write it to the console to do this application. But uh, what we'll do is we'll add those words as it's reading them uh, to the list. So we're going to say my array. We'll use the add method of my array and add it. Add the line. Add my line. Uh, so that's all. That's all it takes to. Uh, to, to add those to an array. So while it's in this loop, it's doing two things now. It's, r it's actually reading the line, adding it to the list of words, and it's writing it to the console. It reads again. If it's nothing, it ends. If it's not nothing, it'll come back and it'll do it over and over again until it gets to the last line. So we could save that. We could see if I uh, run it again, it's not going to do anything different. It's going to look the same, except now we have an, uh, uh, an a, a list of strings stored in memory called my array. And what we're going to do, the reason that we did that is we're going to pass that to another subroutine, and then we're going to actually sort the array uh, in the other subroutine, and then have it write to a file. So that'll be part three. Uh, to review this, well, simply what we did here was we used the stream reader to read the text file. Uh, we used the read line, assigned the line at a, a line at a time to a string variable, and wrote those lines one at a time on the console in the loop while the the file wasn't at the end of the file. Uh, pretty simple program, but uh, these are crucial tasks to learn if you're going to do any kind of programming where you're going to be importing text files. So part three, we're going to go ahead and do the sort. We're going to use a bubble sort. Uh, so see part three for that.